So, hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you how I have integrated test container in my Spring application. So this is very quick demo that um, I use for MongoDB. So let me show you how I uh, integrate test container test container with uh, a Spring app with MongoDB so you have that we have a quite a simple application here I have uh, an investment and have a repository to save the investment so and that's it um, this is the model I don't have a controller maybe we will add that in the future and uh, by the way this will be available on github so you can check the description the link so um, the properties here so this is the application properties uh, but um, we are not going to use this thing in the in the video in, in this video because uh, everything is set up here in um, in the test section we don't care about the, the real app but we focus on the test. Let me walk through the dependencies. So this is um, what I have. What I have uh, by creating application. So let me let me. So new project, right? Of course, you can do this on Spring Initializer. Spring and click on next. And you have test container here and. Uh, it's already here, very convenient. So we have test container and test container ODB, but um, I think uh, it is not necessary since I don't use a MongoDB container. I have some problems with that, so I, I use a generic container, and of course other thing like JUnit. Yep, and we need this for the app. So let me walk you through the the setup of the container. So I have a base class here. So basically, this is what I will extend for the test and because I want to put all the setup in one place. So I'm using Mongo five and very basic uh, setup here. Expose port. This is not. Uh, Expose on your local environment, but it will will be mapped on a different different port. So it is this is what uh, this is the port actually mapped to your local host. So I will show you later when we run the test. So basically, I set up the username and password here, and this will override the values here so actually we have the details from the container that is started by the test container and before all we have uh, this one start the container start and here I have the the test so um, for example I have some simple tests here so the the idea is uh, I can create an investment, save it, and make sure the save is successful. And later, I find try to find the investment. I can uh, can see that, and that is a uh, very 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 basic um, setup. So this is um, a test on actual database. This is not an unit test. So I think it is uh, very powerful, but first let me show you let me run the test and see the container setup is up and running this is our app so let me show you the container here so you see that this one okay this one just started five seconds ago 
and this is the port actually on your local host so you, you don't have to worry about this line about about this this is actually the port of Mongo DB so you need to have this and next then uh, that should be successful and that is uh, very powerful for me so let's see let's go back to the test and try to write something else so maybe I will try to to try to, uh, to test the function in the repository that file on amount greater than than this one so you see I have test order here because uh, there's some dependency this the creation must be completed before defined so yeah to make sure you have this one order by on addition uh, next let's create some more investment test displays name nah, nah, we don't don't need to delete so um, for example something like that right. yes oh I love copilot okay so let's create something new so let's copy this copy this one okay let's create some Vim user, but uh, okay, sorry. But I like to use Vim because it, it makes navigation much faster. So, for example, by some, I don't know, by some, no, something like that. So, I'm going to create. Maybe 600. So we should now have two two investment greater than um, greater than 500, right? So this should be list of investment, right? By all. Not sure if it works. So assert that first one and assert that as an equal and set equal expect the value is two is present let and size like that let's let's run this test. So see the container started and oh my god oh sorry because we, we just run one test we need to run every test so we run all the tests here and it should work so this is not this is not uh, what we expect because uh, test should run in isolation but that is for unit test uh, maybe in specific cases you can get away with this so maybe you yeah let's try run this again to see uh, if the tests are running in order yeah. sure so all, all is good so that's it this is a very quick introduction 
to uh, test container with MongoDB and uh, as mentioned this code will be available on github so yeah hope that is useful thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video bye bye